Phrase Express enables the power of OpenAI in any program on your computer. Want to shorten the text in any application, for example in WordPad? Here you go. Or translate text into several languages. Oh, there's an email with a question. As said, Phrase Express provides OpenAI everywhere. Let's have it answer the question. Or generate new text based on your natural description. Phrase Express integrates OpenAI in whatever program you are working. Now let's see how these macros are created in Phrase Express. Ok, we prepared a folder which will hold the AI powered functions and now we create a new phrase and name it Summarize. The description is later used in the pop-up to identify the function. We delete the phrase contents and the way it works is that it expects a highlighted text and we use the clipboard to transfer the text into Phrase Express for further processing. So the first step is to copy the highlighted text into the clipboard. We use clipboard paste and copy and select copy. Now the selected text is in the clipboard and we can process it with the OpenAI macro, which you can find under external data, because OpenAI is an external online service, and then select OpenAI text processing. We use OpenAI in this example to summarize text. So we give the macro a name summarize, which is just a visual clue within the text phrase. And the input to be processed is in the clipboard, so we need to insert the clipboard. We right click and select clipboard, insert text from clipboard. And we use the current clipboard and not the Phrase Express clipboard cache. We can optionally process the output of the clipboard, for example, to trim leading and trailing spaces. This is optional, of course. OK, now we have the clipboard trimmed and inserted into the input of the OpenAI macro. And now OpenAI needs an instruction what to do with the text. And you can be descriptive with it. Use natural language, like summarize text. OpenAI comes with a number of uh, parameters you can configure here. It's quite detailed and very technical. So if you need assistance here, please click on the Help button, which opens the OpenAI Help. Here you find information how to use these parameters. In this specific example, we recommend to turn down the variation to get a precise summarization and increase the tokens to 160 or something like this. You need to experiment here. These parameters will start along with the macro. And when we click on OK, it will be placed into the phrase contents. The output of the macro will be the return of the OpenAI processing. That's it. To do the translation, it's quite similar. Let's take the summarize macro as a template, which we duplicate, then we rename it. And it's the same procedure. We copy the highlighted text into the clipboard, and I double click here and rename the name of the macro to translate. The input is again the clipboard. And now we change the instruction. So you can either use translate text into, for example, Spanish, but if you want to be more flexible, what you can do is adding a selection. So we right click, select user input and form input. Then we give it a name and we use a drop down menu. The label is language to give you a clue what needs to be selected. It's only mandatory that you make an input. So we choose uh, input required. And here you can add the list of desired languages. OK. So the instruction will be translate text into and whatever you selected later when you use the macro. And clicking on OK, that's it. Now let's create the macro to answer any question. Again, we use the summarize macro as a template and we duplicate it. Now we call it answer question. Let's copy this to the clipboard because we need it again. Again, we have a highlighted text as an input, which we will copy it to the clipboard. And we will process it with uh, OpenAI. But before, as we don't want to replace the highlighted text, we need to remove the highlighting in the target application. 
So I go in between Clipboard Copy and the OpenAI macro and simulate a key press, right arrow key, which will make Windows to unselect the selected text. Then we can add two carriage returns to place the answer underneath the actual question. Now we click Summarize and I paste answer question. And again, we use the text from the clipboard and we instruct OpenAI to briefly answer the question. It's very important to understand that OpenAI is still in beta phase. It doesn't use current data. As far as you know, the latest data is from 2021. Nonetheless, you have to carefully check the output. It's more or less a demonstration. Okay, now we have the answer question. To provide quick access to the AI functions, let's go to the folder. Make sure that we have a trigger. We recommend using a hotkey like Control Alt K. That's it. Now let's do the general macro. I create a new phrase, call it general. And we directly use the external data open AI text processing macro. We name the macro general and we want the user to be prompted to instruct open AI what to do. But in this particular case, as we don't transform any existing text, but generate new text, you put the instruction into the input. So we right click, select user input, form input, name it instruction. And as a label for the user, we write describe in natural language what to generate. Input is required and we can optionally have the last input be remembered. Okay. Again, you may need to tweak the parameters of OpenAI. Depending on the length of the text you want, you may want to increase the tokens here as desired. That's it.